Now, the last weekend to cast your votes, we took our cameras to some of voting centers that just opened today. In person voting started for most California counties this weekend. Now, as you know, this year all voters got a ballot in the mail to encourage remote voting during the pandemic, and that seemed to keep the lines low today. A good thing considering voting can now be quite a process. Follow the sign to cast your votes, and along the way, you'll find masks, hand sanitizer, and warnings to stay six feet apart. Make sure that uh, people have a, a safe way of voting and getting their vote out. Chio Se Yang is a student ambassador at Sac State, keeping the voting center that just opened at Modoc Hall sanitized and safe for voters. It's a vote center that's traditionally had high voter turnout, but with many casting their ballots early this year, the lines haven't seemed long at voting centers across Northern California. I like that because it's not a lot of cloud, crowd right here, so we could get in and out. Victor Roth got in and out at this center in Lodi. Starting this weekend, there are now 34 voter service centers open across San Joaquin County through Election Day. I want to make sure my vote is counted and I do it in person so I don't put in the mail drop ins because those things could get lost and I like to do it in person. Oh, I've been waiting half a year for this moment. <laughs> An election day many have anticipated. That's why Se Yang is playing his part. Sac State's Hornets Vote Hornets Count campaign prompted more than 1,500 new student registrations. And even if they miss the registration deadline, they can still register at the vote center and cast their ballot the same day. I was never really big on voting when I was in high school, but ever since I was I got more educated and more like involved in like the voting process, I started learning about how much my vote really does matter. Now, a county elections inspection inspector tells us the two reminders they have for voters get out there early so you're not stuck in a long line on election day. And don't forget to sign your ballot before you drop it off.